From shifts in light to fast radio bursts and all of the terrifying space mysteries in between. Here are the top 10 scary space signals we still can't explain. Starting off in our number 10 spot we have the Lone Survivor. This is an unexplained signal that was first detected in 2003 when astronomers were using a massive telescope in order to re-examine 200 different areas of the sky. I say re-examine because these were areas where there was once a signal that was detected coming from them and they were taking a look back to see if they could detect the same signal again. During this re-examination they found that all of the signals had disappeared except for one. The signal didn't only stick around but it also got stronger. This signal is coming from between the constellations of Pisces and Aries, and the curious thing about this location is that it resides in a place where there are no known obvious planets or stars. To make things even more mysterious, there are scientists who believe that the frequency this signal is in is the frequency alien life would be most likely to use if they were trying to contact us. I have no idea what leads them to this theory, but it felt too interesting to exclude. So while there are other possibilities of what these signals are or where they are coming from, it is quite an interesting piece of information and is something that definitely deserves more looking into. In our number 9 spot today we have the Super Void. This is a discovery that was first seen by the NASA WMAP satellite in 2004 and it was later confirmed in 2013 by the ESA's Planck mission. Basically, there is a cold spot in the universe which can be seen clearly in the radiation left from the Big bang and we aren't quite sure what it is or what it means. Throughout the years, every time we've attempted to remap the cosmic microwave background with more resolution and better technology than we previously had, one of the mysteries that always remains is the cold spot, and it gets more peculiar every time. Quite recently, a new theory that could possibly explain the cold spot was put forward, and at the moment it seems like it's a theory that most people are agreeing with. Basically, it has to do with a super void. The cosmic web is made up of clusters and super clusters of galaxies and they are pulled to each other by gravity, of course, and sometimes they are accelerated away from each other by the mysterious, not quite understood force that is dark energy. Between these clusters of galaxies are what are called voids, the area that contain fewer galaxies, which in turn means that they contain less matter. So basically, there is a super void, one of the largest known to humanity, and it's located within the constellation of Eridanus. It's a massive, elongated, cigar-shaped void that's just a cool 1.8 billion light years wide, and it is said that it contains 30% less matter than the surrounding galactic regions. It is thought that perhaps this huge super void might be responsible for the cold spot, but at this point there are still tons of questions that are just waiting to be answered. In our number 8 spot today we have energetic cosmic rays. Energetic cosmic rays are described as high energy protons and atomic nuclei that move through space at nearly the speed of light. There are some that originate from supernova, but there are some that originate from outside our galaxy and those ones have scientists wondering where they are coming from and what the source of them is. As these cosmic rays flow into our solar system, their paths are bent by the magnetic fields of both the sun and the earth. Upon impact with Earth's atmosphere, these rays produce a shower of secondary particles. Some of these particles do end up reaching Earth, but most are intercepted by either the magnetosphere or the heliosphere. The strongest cosmic rays are extremely powerful and they can have energies over a hundred million times greater than a man-made collider. If you're wondering why you should care about this space mystery, it's because these things have the power to cause our digital systems to crash. And in our ever increasing digital world, that could cause some major disruptions to our life. I mean, I probably wouldn't have a job. That is why we care about how many of their origins remain a complete mystery that has scientists stumped. And also, because shouldn't we just know where these things that are bombarding Earth's atmosphere are coming from? Concerning is definitely the word I'd use, but honestly, what part of space isn't concerning? In our number seven spot today, we have the Orphan Afterglow. In the Cosmic Theater, the year 2019 marked a peculiar detection that challenged the norm. Astronomers using the Chandra X-ray Observatory observed an unexpected phenomenon, an X-ray burst that was strikingly alone, without its usual precursor, a gamma-ray burst. The cosmic enigma was dubbed an orphan afterglow. 
Typically, gamma ray bursts, the most energetic explosions in the universe, precede X-ray bursts. These gamma ray events often indicate the birth of a black hole or a neutron star, and the subsequent X-ray afterglow is the lingering echo of this cataclysmic event. However, the orphan afterglow seemed to defy this established pattern. The solitary X-ray burst appeared without a detectable gamma ray burst, sparking curiosity and speculation among the scientific community. What could have caused such an event? Was it merely that the gamma ray burst was directed away from Earth, or were there alternative processes at play? In our number six spot today, we have PSR B0943 plus one zero. Pulsars, rotating neutron stars emitting regular pulses of radiation, have long captivated astronomers with their precise cosmic metronomes. But in 2011, this particularly eccentric pulsar challenged established understanding and left scientists scratching their heads. Located approximately 2,000 light years away, this pulsar is no ordinary pulsar. In Instead of maintaining a steady, predictable pattern of radiation, it displays a perplexing behavior. Without warning, it spontaneously switches between emitting radio waves and X-ray emissions. This erratic mood swing bewilders scientists. Standard models of pulsar behavior were based on the idea that radio wave and X-ray emissions were tied to different periods in a pulsar's life, not that a pulsar could switch between them at will. This unique pulsar's unpredictable switch happening over mere seconds shatters this belief. Despite being discovered in the 60s, it wasn't until 2011 that this pulsar's unusual trait was detected, demonstrating that even familiar celestial bodies can surprise us. This pulsar's peculiar behavior provides a very unique window into neutron star physics, challenging our knowledge and understanding of these celestial lighthouses. In our number five spot today, we have light shifts. In 2015, a Penn State astronomer named Jason Wright explained that there were pretty erratic and spontaneous shifts in the light that was coming from a star that was newly discovered. This star sits about 1,280 light years away from us on Earth, and these shifts were very similar to as if something was passing in front of our view of the star before briefly passing through. Scientists weren't able to connect this to any known exoplanets or anything like that which we could understand, and this is what led Jason to quite an interesting theory. He stated that it is possible that the shifts are caused by massive objects passing in front of the star in kind of an orbit, like an array of massive satellites or a similar kind of structure, kind of like the type of thing that would be produced by an intelligent and civilized life form. In our number four spot today, we have the Green Bank Telescope FRB. In 2012, the vast expanse of our cosmos spoke once again, this time with a signal captured by the Green Bank Telescope located in West Virginia in the United States. The signal wasn't a gentle whisper, but a very bold, intense burst of radio waves, a fast radio burst, or FRB. FRBs are brief yet powerful blasts of radio waves that come from distant parts of the cosmos, lasting only a few milliseconds. The source of the Green Bank Telescope FRB, much like other FRBs, remains an enigma. These FRBs, due to their brevity and unpredictable nature, have been notoriously difficult to trace back to their origin, and this one was no exception. Since their first detection in 2007, FRBs have posed a significant challenge to astronomers. What cosmic phenomena could generate such powerful, yet fleeting signals? Theories range from highly magnetized neutron stars to extra galactic civilizations. The Green Bank Telescope FRB added another layer to this cosmic mystery, an enigma still explored and deciphered by scientists across the globe. In our number three spot today, we have Hoag's Object. Okay, so there are different shapes to galaxies. That's not the weirdest thing in the world. You probably know that we live in a spiral-shaped one. It's beautiful. There are other galaxies called ellipticals that are more like oval-shaped. But one galaxy in particular, which is now called Hoag's Object, is truly like none we've ever seen. This galaxy has a yellow core, and the core is surrounded by an outer ring of blue stars that are much younger than the core. But in the middle, between the two, there's just nothing, and researchers are completely stumped as to how it could have formed this way. This galaxy was first discovered in the 1950s, and since then, there is one leading theory as to how it could have been formed, but it still isn't very concrete. 
Basically, this leading theory suggests that perhaps a small galaxy sped through a larger disk-shaped galaxy, which then created this bizarre situation. But the problem with this theory is that there are no signs of any nearby galaxies that could have served as the sort of bullet in this scenario. If that happened, it also would have sped up the core of Hoag's object, but we can observe it as moving quite slowly. So that also kind of rules out this theory. There have been other galaxies discovered that have some similar characteristics to this one, but none share all the qualities seen in this very bizarre galaxy. In our number two spot today, we have the mysterious gap. A recent analysis by scientists at MIT of ancient meteorites found something new and very interesting. In the early solar system, there was what is referred to as a protoplanetary disk of dust and gas that rotated around the sun and eventually it coalesced into the planets that we know and love today. So this new study and analysis suggests that a sort of mysterious gap existed within this disk somewhere around 4.567 billion years ago, and it was in an area near where the asteroid belt is today. The reason the gap is mysterious is because it isn't quite clear what the cause of this gap was. There are a few possibilities, including Jupiter, during the time when it began to take its shape, because of its extremely large gravitational pull, it could have pushed gas and dust towards the outskirts, which then would leave a gap in the developing disk. There are some other possibilities, but regardless of whatever caused this gap, it is said to have likely served as a cosmic boundary that kept materials on either side from interacting with each other. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have Tabby's star. This star, which has also been referenced as a WTF star, is an F-type main sequence star which is located in the constellation Cygnus, about 1,470 light years away from Earth. This star is of particular importance because of the fact that it shows very unusual light shifts, which includes a 22% dimming in brightness. Basically, from our point of view, something continually blocks the star, and it likely isn't a planet because a Jupiter-sized planet would only block about 1% of a star the size of this one. So what could it possibly be? There are a few theories out there surrounding this anomaly, but none are able to fully explain what is happening here. Some believe that it is some sort of uneven ring of dust orbiting the star, and others believe that the star's luminosity fluctuates depending on the efficiency of the heat being transported to its photosphere. In September 2019, astronomers reported that they observed dimmings of Tabby's star, and they may have been produced by fragments resulting from the disruption of an orphaned exomoon. These are just some of the theories surrounding this star, but there are many, many more out there. And at this point, we just don't know. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.